Hi guys, welcome to the Ludlow Hotel. I'm so excited to get ready for the Kate Spade show today for New York Fashion Week. Let's do it. I am usually not a butt first coffee type of person, but we are right next to one of the best coffee shops in New York City, in my opinion. Ludlow Coffee Supply. So I think we should head down there because they just opened before it gets too busy and then we will get ready. Shall we? And then one just regular, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. I just missed a call from Zantori, so I'm gonna call him back because it's noon for him now, which is crazy. <laughs> Fully putting him on blast. <laughs> so embarrassing. Okay, well, we'll talk to him in a minute. <laughs> this is a real insight into long distance. Long distance is basically just professional phone tag. Like it's so rare for us to actually be able to talk when one of us calls because he's five hours ahead. So he is in the middle of his work day right now. Um, and it's 7.30 for me. So we've gotten very good at playing phone tag. Let's start getting ready. Okay, we are going to start with hair and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna just put it up. So we're gonna just make sure it's nice and uniform all around. Let's do it. This is the best hairbrush that I have ever held and used. This is the Ibiza Hair CX-8. My hairstylist dolled up by Drea told me about it. And if your hair gets super tangly like mine, you literally just run it through once and it's done. So I'm still not sure exactly what style I want to do, but it is a 90 degree day today and I'm wearing a full blown lined suit. So I'm going to be super hot and I think I'm just going to want my hair off of my neck. So I'm probably going to do some sort of ponytail um i just realized that the only ponytail thing that i have is like a pink scrunchie so we might have to make a run to cbs okay let's start i feel like during fashion week especially it's kind of normalized to have a glam squad for events that you go to. I don't think there's anything wrong with that and I actually have really great friends that are very talented makeup artists but I just find doing makeup and getting ready super cathartic and I like just having kind of that those moments for myself before everything gets hectic and also if you have somebody who does your makeup a way that you're not really comfortable in I feel like it just makes you overthink what you look like all day and if you look crazy or not. So the Kate Spade New York show that we are going to actually takes place on the High Line, which is one of my favorite places in the city. If you're unfamiliar with the High Line, it is overground converted railroad track and it is turned into a beautiful public park. So I'm really excited to spend the afternoon there. Okay, I'm gonna try Zantori again because I know after we leave here, the day's gonna get crazy. <laughs> it's time to get ready. I'm so excited to show you guys my outfit for today. I actually worked with a stylist for the first time ever and it was so helpful. Her name is Katie. I'm gonna leave her Instagram here so you guys can check her out. But we're going with a red suit. So 
this is going to be very fun to play dress up in. I remember in middle school, it was kind of a thing to have the Kate Spade New York cosmetic pouches as pencil pouches. And I decided to save up my babysitting money and buy myself one. And the pouch that I bought and I had through all of middle school, and I'm sure it's at my parents' house somewhere now, was black, white, and it had red detailing. So I feel like this outfit pays homage to little Margot. And look where we are now. You're working with Kate Spade to go to their fashion show for New York Fashion Week. So this means so much to me and I'm so excited to support this brand that has been a love of mine for now over like 10 years, which is crazy. One of the references that Katie used when she was putting together this look was Gwyneth Paltrow in a red Gucci suit that she actually re-wore years later, which I think is so iconic. But I love Gwyneth Paltrow. I love her style. I actually use her as references just on Pinterest and getting ready. I think she's such a vibe. So once I saw the reference photo of that, I was obsessed. out what is going on with my hair so we're gonna see if they have wax and maybe a couple extra hair bands and I think there's something else that we needed but now I'm forgetting Back to me saying I do I enjoy doing my own glam. There is currently a truck just driving onto the sidewalk, so I think this is our cue to get a smoothie and then head over. Let's do it. Okay, we got ready. We found our hair pomade or whatever it's called and I think it actually made a really big difference and now we're on the way I am so excited to be wearing the Dakota it is so beautiful and I love the gold hardware especially because I feel like recently I decided I'm a gold girly I always like to mix metals especially with my jewelry I will always mix metals but I think earrings and just kind of like bigger metals I love to have a gold moment. Okay. Oh shit, here it goes. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. <laughs> you right? Right here for the shoulder. We have made it and it's so fun seeing everyone here. Everyone looks so fabulous and the colors are amazing. So, I think we're gonna head in and see what's going on inside. We just left the Kate Spade New York show and it was unbelievable. Thank you so much for spending the morning with me and my Dakota bag. It was so much fun. And if you want to catch more Fashion Week content, keep an eye out on my YouTube channel and my Instagram and I'll see you there.